Private Lender Podcast, Episode 120. The Private Lender Podcast quote of the day comes to us from George Soros, who said, I'm only rich because I know when I'm wrong. I basically have survived by recognizing my mistakes. This is the Private Lender Podcast, the show that shares practical advice and know-how for new and seasoned lenders, from private mortgages on single-family houses to joint ventures on commercial projects and beyond. Discover details about investment vehicles that you won't find at your local bank or online broker. Listen and learn from private lenders and real estate investors, as well as from professionals and entrepreneurs, as they share the details, strategies, and the insight that allows for successful and prosperous lending. Now, get ready to increase your ROI. Here's your host, Keith Baker. Hello, Lender Nation, and welcome to episode 120 of the Private Lender Podcast. I'm your host, Keith Baker, and I'd like to thank you for sharing your time and your ears with me today. If you're looking for practical tips and advice on being a private lender and how to keep your money safe, then you're in the right place. But if you want to learn from my mistakes so that you can both avoid them and profit from them, well, then pull up a chair and pour yourself a drink, my friend, because this podcast is just for you. In today's episode, we continue the lessons taken from the book, The Richest Man in Babylon. Today, we're going to discuss the second law of gold. These are old world principles that have remained relevant and true through the centuries, no matter the currency and no matter the politics. Before we dive into the second law of gold or money, however you want to look at it, I do need to do a little bit of housekeeping. And the first thing item is the Facebook group for the Private Lender Podcast. Head over to Facebook, look in the groups, Private Lender Podcast. There's an open, or say open, there's a public group. There, there are, there's some other private ones, but uh, they haven't, I haven't opened them up yet. But please connect over at the Facebook group. There's a lot of people that are lending, and there's good dialogue going on over there, uh, good questions. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit – it's a private lender community, and that's in, and that's not for people looking for private money. That's for private lenders. And there's only one hard money lender in there, uh, Blink Lending right now. They're ink, yeah, Blink Lending. So I try to limit all that, but definitely a great and free resource for you. And the other thing is, if you are interested in doing your own private lending, but feel like you need a little help to get you through your first handful of deals or loans, well, then head over to privatelenderpodcast.com forward slash Inc. That's I-N-K. And learn how you can get started lending with my friend Paul over at Inc. Lending and fund their loans on properties right here in the Houston area, which is one of the, you know, in one of the most lender friendly states in this great country of ours, whether or not we have electricity. That's right. Paul Hemnados and his team will vet the deals, underwrite the loan and put your money to work for you. And they even service the loan on your behalf. That's about as passive as you can get. So one more time, if you'd like to uh, team up with Paul and loan here in Houston, go to privatelenderpodcast.com forward slash ink, I-N-K. Not to be con uh, confused with tattoos. That's another episode. <laughs> All right. So let's get down to the brass tacks of episode 120 today. It's going to be a short episode. But in the book, The Richest Man in Babylon, there are seven cures for a lean purse and five laws of gold. And today, uh, like I said before, we're talking about the second law of gold, which is simply, and I'm going to read straight from the book, gold laboreth diligently and contentedly for the wise owner who finds for it profitable employment, multiplying even as the flocks of the field. Gold is indeed a willing worker. It is ever eager to multiply when opportunity presents itself. To every man who has a store of gold set aside, opportunity comes for its most profitable use. As the years pass, it multiplies itself in surprising fashion. You know, there's an old cliche that says, you know, work hard for your money, but make your money work harder for you. And I think that's really the, that's what this is talking about here. I, I, I do like to, to, to think along the lines of the flocks in the field or even raising kids. You know, there's usually a great deal of labor to bring a child or, you know, money, savings into life. Oh, you, you see what I did there? A great deal of labor. Uh, but to, gi to give your money the ability to multiply and bring more savings into the world and, and, and into your account. And, you know, this goes back to those just simple, not sexy principles. But if you do them and you're consistent with them, you will come out ahead. You know, the, the, just the, the second law of gold. It, it's, I like, you know, it's, it's like savings or widgets or robots that go around and make and produce more robots that will make more money, right? You know, I. Right? Um, but you do have to oversee all of it, right? You still have to kind of can, can control it in, in some sense because it is your domain. But you know, you worked you worked hard for your money once, man. Put it to work for you, right? And, and that's a, I guess you know the the gist of this all. And 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 all things like I said, you know, this is simple. 
but unsexy principle that if you do it, but the problem is we get complacent. I get complacent. Don't ever let complacency creep on you and never trust that your money is working for you. You've got to verify that you know your money is working hard for you. It's part of the motto of this show, right? Never trust, always verify. I mean, you're, we are the shepherds of our money or stewards, if you like. I like to say we're the you're, you're the CEO of your money. Act like it, and I and I that's a pill I need to and some medicine, my own medicine I need to take for myself. I feel like I'm just now finally getting a handle on what that what that means to be the CEO of your money and what it means to act like it. Work hard for your money, but make damn sure your money works harder for you. Teach this mantra to your kids. Teach them how to raise their wealth and their position in, in, in their family and in the, in the world. And, you know, so they can, they can weather financial storms because they will come. You know, pandemics, these things do happen. We can't be prepared for everything, but we can prepare for a lot. Putting money back for the future and making it work for itself. And making it, not, not for ourselves, sorry, making it work for me and making it work for you. Well, that's a very, very valuable lesson that I think we, we often overlook, or if we hear it, we, we, we do it once or twice, and then complacency sets in. Okay, that's it. My sermon is over. I want to thank you for listening today for episode, to episode 120. And here's the deal. I, I don't charge money for the show, and there is a cost for me to produce it. Uh, I'd be extremely grateful if you could help drive awareness to the show to get the word out by leaving me an honest rating and review at Google Podcasts, Spotify, or whatever platform you're using to hear my voice. But it would mean the world to me if you could leave an honest rating and review over at iTunes because Apple is still the 400-pound gorilla in the room and the benchmark for the time being. So that helps the algorithms. If uh, you you know if you're more positive, that'd be great. But like I said, I just I ask for an honest rating and review. If you if I deserve five stars, give it to me. If I don't, don't. Simple as that. And look, it's it doesn't take long to go over uh, and and you know pop a couple of stars and and, and write a review. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. And if you're looking to create your stable of private lenders or know people that have money but don't realize the power of, of private lending, then please introduce them to this podcast and to me. DM whatever you got to do. Forward uh, an episode to them. Uh, I am on Spotify. You can sh- shoot it over there to them. Uh, and some other platforms will be coming up. But anyhow, that would uh, be a great price if you could pay it for the for the show. And so that's going to do it. Episode 120 is in the can. Second Law of Gold. Remember, please go join the Facebook group, Private Lender Podcast Facebook group, to connect, learn, be inspired, and, and, and to participate in discussions. And remember, the easy button to lending in Houston, Texas market can be found over at privatelenderpodcast.com forward slash Inc. So as I'd sign off from today's episode, I'd like to say that in addition to self-awareness, I wish you safe and prosperous private lending. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Private Lender Podcast with your host, Keith Baker. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit privatelenderpodcast.com. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate and review, and we'll catch you next time. Pay him. Pay that man his money.